We're ready to stain the deck that we just bleached and I rinsed it off while we we're gone. Um, I'm going to introduce you first to the items needed to properly stain and seal your deck using a penetrating oil sealer. I'm going to start by introducing the sealer. It is a penetrating oil sealer. That is what we recommend here at Ready Decks. Um, you don't want a sealer that's going to shell over. It's going to be like a polyurethane type. It may be pretty at first, but that sun and the rain and all the other elements are going to wreak havoc on it. And with no time, you're going to have a bunch of busted up uh, polyurethane type material. You're used to paint chipping. You're going to have the same thing on your deck. You don't want to scrape that off. All you want to do with a penetrating oil sealer, which is basically just, um, for the most part, paraffin oil and other types of oil that penetrates the wood. It's likened to that of putting lotion on your hands. Uh, it gets inside the wood, which doesn't allow the water to soak in. The water is what causes the cracking. It gets in the wood, the wood swells up, it dries out, it shrinks, and this process over time starts to separate the cellulose fibers in the wood. The oil gets in there, repels the water. More water, more rain, starts to eventually get the oil out of the wood, that's why you have to keep redoing it. The stain portion is likened that of sunscreen. It repels UV, and but its main purpose is to make the deck look more attractive and to bring out the aesthetic appeal. Uh, basically just makes the wood pop, makes it look really pretty. And of course, then you can personalize the color of stain as you like, whether it's typically a, a, a reddish stain, looking more like cedar. Um, brown of course that's very popular um, there are some even stain sealers that you can get at some of the box stores you can get multiple colors i don't know about the durability of that we have a stain that we sell and recommend here at ready decks call us we'll tell you about it so the stain comes in a five gallon bucket we sell it in two and a half gallon pails which makes it much easier to mix um, this bucket here was actually left over from, from when they had stained this nine months ago, so it keeps. That's a good thing. Um, the other thing is that it's been mixed really well already, so we can just simply stir it. I just use an old piece of wood. There's no point in wasting anything. Um, typically, when you open a fresh pail, you're going to want another empty five-gallon bucket, and the easiest way to mix it is to pour them back and forth in each other because there will be a thick thick layer of, of stain at the bottom. It's just like an iron oxide and it's really hard to mix up good. And if you don't mix it good, you're going to with a light colored portion and a really dark portion. So I've actually already mixed the stain up pretty well and it smells pretty bad. Uh, if you have allergies and asthma like myself, you're going to already experience some, some nasal problems, some itching and, and watery eyes. So I'm going to wear my respirator. I suggest everybody do that. Um, just makes for an easier night of breathing. Goggles just in case it gets in your eyes. Of course I've got my gloves on already because it's just nasty. The stain gets everywhere. Um, something to consider with stain. Uh, the second part is basically masking off and it's a penetrating oil sealer. So if it gets in anything porous like these stones on the house or if you have brick on your house, a concrete patio or any other wood that you don't want it to get on, it's going to get in there and it's going to stay and you're probably not going to get it out. So, the easiest way to apply if you're going against a house like this is just get a cheap old paintbrush. Um, I actually uh, found this one here and it doesn't look that good but it doesn't have to. I usually throw them away when I'm done. Buy them for a buck or two. And use something as a shield. A piece of cardboard works well. Uh, I've got this nice piece of styrofoam that's not too big but not too small. Um, so when you start off, you want to just take your paintbrush and cut in right up against the house real carefully and then come out about a foot to a foot and a half away from the home. Uh, be mindful of the wind and how fast and mainly what direction is it blowing because you're going to then go to spraying this and it's going to be airborne. It can drift and get on the windows. Windows not a bad problem. They're non-porous. You can clean it off. The vinyl on these windows you can clean off. The rubber on the windows right here it's going to be a problem. So the easy thing to do is just don't get it on there. If you do, get it clean pretty quick. Basically some um, household uh, soaps or some type of cleaner will work. Um, there's a few brands that work better than others, but basically just some good soap, wash it down. Even mineral spirits, if you know, just be careful. You don't want to use mineral spirits on something that could tear up like rubber. Um, 
since we're doing this deck portion around the corner that we don't have to worry about anything the house is wood um, there's nothing really around it we're not gonna have to deal with the shield but I want to show you um, basically which we haven't poured the stain in, in our pump-up sprayer which is the same sprayer we used to bleach with I just cleaned it out and then put some put it back in and ran some basically air through it and it's ready to go so mind you you're gonna be cut in from the house about one to two foot so your shield you still want to put it back here just to be on the safe side and sometimes you can lay it up there sometimes you can hold it a little bit taller shield is nicer and then you can just start to spray and that's actually be the last step you do and we'll get to that in a minute but while we're here I wanted to show that to you before I put a mask on and you can still hear me um, so we know that now we know how to mix the stain what kind of stain and sealer to use we know we're gonna apply it with a pump-up sprayer and a cheap in this case three inch brush or four inch brush is even nicer and I'll go ahead and explain how we're gonna spray the stain on because again I'm having a mask on it's gonna be difficult to understand so real quickly we're gonna have overspray we don't want to waste the stain so you're gonna to want to start from the outside spraying your handrails and your balusters say this is our outside and the easiest way to do it and the fastest way is to come in at an angle about 45 degrees you're gonna hit right here on that baluster roughly it's gonna get this side of the baluster and about half roughly half of this side and you can go all the way down and then you just simply come back the other way and it catches this side and the rest of the front of course you're getting your your outside while you're doing it then you come on the inside and you can spray it to finish it you might want to spray right underneath your top cap and but if you start trying to spray down you may waste a lot that way and if you try to spray each one of these balusters you're going to waste a lot of stain the easiest way to do it just dip your brush in there and i'll give a quick example even though i really don't want to smell this stuff a quick example you just you just simply brush it on of course they're going to be a lot wetter because those sides are going to be dripping with stain and unlike paint you don't have to worry about uh, runs or uh, uh, brush marks or anything like that this is oil essentially that's all you're putting on is oil with the stain the stain of uh, doesn't show uh, brush marks and what have you so the only way you can really mess it up is don't put enough on you put it on the deck until the deck simply is not soaking it up immediately um, you don't want it puddled up everywhere although you're gonna have some puddles and that's it when you're when you're all done you'll come back about two hours later and back brush any puddles out and then stay off of it for about 12 to 24 hours depending on the weather it's 95 degrees here today so probably about six hours this will be really really dry and ready to use so but back to the balusters the easiest thing to do is just brush this side of the baluster and you're done then get your get your sprayer with your stain in it and start working your way uh, if we were doing the whole deck there's our exit steps we'd work our way to there um, we might start back at the house and work our way out leaving a path in the middle because we'd sprayed this deck from the outside all of this is going to be very very pretty much covered completely all your overspray so you're not wasting any um, otherwise it's pretty simple and straightforward don't overthink it just dump it on there don't worry about runs you want it to run you want it uh, you want it to penetrate the wood that is the number one goal so we're going to come right back and I'm going to have put this stain in the bucket and have all my safety gear on and I'll quickly stain that